I'm Megan Kelly live in New York City and tonight. A new Obamacare bombshell. So we don't know at this point how many people have actually paid for coverage. That's right. Two leading media outlets have caught this administration misleading America about the latest numbers. We'll have a full report. Plus, a man who's made millions splattering the big screen with blood now says he is going to wage war against guns. Can you say hypocrisy? And then the deaths could have been prevented. The State Department, they say, gets most of the blame. Is Hillary a new trouble for 2016? Karl Rove and the Clinton camp tonight on The Kelly File. And breaking tonight, the White House has been caught red-handed again, misleading the American people on the truth about Obamacare. Welcome to The Kelly File, everyone. I'm Megan Kelly. Two weeks ago, the White House touted the number of people getting coverage thanks to the president's health care law, announcing six million people are poised to get health care coverage because of Obamacare. Six million. Listen. More than 2.1 million people who've enrolled in private plans and 3.9 million Americans who learn that they're eligible for coverage through Medicaid and the Children's Health Insurance Program. Because of the Affordable Care Act, you're looking at this enrollment pickup. That is a White House senior advisor saying nearly 4 million Americans are now eligible for Medicaid coverage thanks to Obamacare. That was false. That was untrue. It was grossly misleading. The senior elections analyst for the well-respected RealClearPolitics.com, Sean Trend, sat down and crunched the numbers, concluding, quote, only 380,000 new Medicaid enrollees are due to Obamacare, a far cry from four million. Look at those numbers. Look at the overstatement. They were apparently taking credit for people who were renewing their pre-existing Medicaid plans, claiming those people owed it all to Obamacare. Not true. And the administration continued in its false assertions. On January 10th, President Obama's official Twitter account sent out a tweet again claiming six million Americans, quote, have already signed up for coverage thanks to health reform, adding, quote, that's a fact. No, it isn't. The Washington Post's nonpartisan fact checker today gave that claim three Pinocchios. The paper's headline reads, quote, warning, ignore claims that 3.9 million people signed up for Medicaid because of Obamacare. Reporter Glenn Kessler calling that assertion flat out, quote, ridiculous. Chris Dyerwalt is our Fox News digital politics editor. Chris, I want to take you back to the fallout of if you like your plan, you can keep it, period, which we know was a gross misstatement to be charitable. The president yes. got hammered at a press conference that he finally had to hold uh, about honesty and how important that is in a relationship between a president and the American people. And here is what he said in part. Listen. There are all kinds of challenges. I'm sure there will be additional challenges that come up. Um, and it's important that we're honest and straightforward in terms when we come up with a, uh, a problem with uh, these reforms and these laws that we address them. It is important to be honest and straightforward. And now, yet again, we are told he wasn't. Your thoughts? Well, well how about this? How about all of the people who have said in the past week that if Chris Christie of New Jersey has told a word of a lie, if anything is untrue, his future is ruined, there is no more Chris Christie, and they're going to feed him to sharks off the Jersey Shore. And that all may be true, but how about a president who is caught in the most substantial deception in the history of modern American politics, arguably, since it led to his reelection? Uh, how about that guy? Doesn't he, isn't he obliged to be truthful and straightforward with the same electorate that he deceived before? One would think for them to carry forward with this deception knowingly. This is not a I wonder or it's fuzzy as it is with everything else, it seems, about statistics about this law. We just don't know. We can't figure it out. We can't track it. In this case, they took credit for something that they could not claim, which is those individuals who are always signing up for Medicaid because Americans are always, poor Americans are always signing up for Medicaid, and they took credit for all of them ever since they turned Obamacare on, and it's not accurate. It's not a rounding error. 
I mean, right. it's three, right. 380,000 people, and they claim 4 million, basically. I mean, the, and it makes you question the rest of the numbers, and the numbers matter. Right. The numbers matter. If they don't have the right numbers, the whole law is imploding, which may be happening right now. We don't know because we can't get straight figures, and it's not just the Medicaid enrollees. The number of people who enrolled on the healthcare.gov website is the number that really matters, and they've been claiming 2.1, 2.2 million, and there was a hearing today that tried to get to how many of those are real, Listen to this. The most important number, as has been reported by many uh, news outlets, is whether individuals have paid. Does the administration collect this information? I'm just asking, do, they, do you collect this information? Right now, we're not, but we will be. When? As soon as that functionality is built. So we don't know at this point how many people have actually paid for coverage. That's right. Chris? You can't do that. that. You're not supposed to do that, uh, but they keep doing it and they keep getting away with it. And it is very important that we know how many people paid and how many people actually have insurance for the long-term health of the law, da, 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 da. You know, you know why else it's important? Because when sick people go to the hospital and the doctor, they'd like to have care for their maladies. They'd like to get treatment. And if you don't have insurance but just are poised, as the president likes to say, to yeah. receive insurance, you ain't going to get covered. But let me just and ask you quickly before I let you go. Yeah. You say they keep getting away with it. The latest approval rating for the president, uh, he's back in the 30s. He's back in the 30s, Chris, 39 percent. That's not a good place to be for any president. He climbed back up to 42, 43 earlier in the month. But look at him now. What is that attributable to? Well, the, the towering heights of 42 percent weren't exactly <laughs> going to carry him onward to glory. But I will say this. The moment of truth for this president is dawning, which is when the members of his own party realize the magnitude of a drag that he is going to be for them in these midterm elections. And as that happened, cutesy patootsy stuff like claiming four million when it's really a couple hundred thousand people, that won't wash. They'll turn on him and it'll be ugly. Cutesy patootsy. That's going to be my new nickname for you. <laughs> See ya. Bye.